Okay, today's tips. Uh, these are things I've seen people get stumped on. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is I, I've got two objects here. One is a face space uh, family, and the other one is a, a non hosted generic family, but I'm using work plane based, which they basically work the same. I have a video about that you might want to take a look at uh, hosted versus non hosted. But the issue I see, if you click on this RFA, you can see it's on level one. Now you would think if I go and create similar, that it would be this would next one would be on level one, which it is not. Uh, I've seen a few people have a hard time with this. Now, it doesn't matter which one I pick here, but so when you go to place it, you need to pick a level. So well, here I'm gonna pick level one, which is this, this level of this floor here. Okay, so now when I pick it, see it's level one. Okay, all right. So now if I place it again, okay, now it's level one. Okay, um, so you got to be careful, you know, when, when you're placing it. Another thing too is. Um, I've also seen if you, let's say for example, I want to place this uh, family here. It doesn't, it doesn't matter whether it's face based or just not hosted or hosted, but I want to place it and I, you know, let's say I want to do it at a 45 degree angle. There's nothing here, it's 45 degrees. A lot of times I notice they'll place it and, you know, actually, before I do that, they'll come in here and they'll place it and then I'll try to rotate it. Well, you can actually do both steps at the same time. You know, if you could click on rotate after placement and then rotate it 45 degrees. You know, so you don't have to go back. It's, I know it's it's saving a millisecond there, but it you know does help a little bit, especially if you're doing a bunch of stuff. Okay, uh, the other thing too, uh, which I do talk about in my other video, is that you know one of the disadvantages to face base. Uh, this is a face base, okay, is that you can't change the elevation, whereas here you can change the elevation. All right. So here, first, we make it put on the right floor, and then I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to put this four feet above. Okay. Now, if I come in here, and I change this, oops, I change this default, so let's say, let's say two foot, okay. And now I'm going to apply, put it in the project. Okay. So... Now, when I go to place this, as you can see, it's not defaulting to the two foot above the, the floor there. So what you have to do is you're going to have to create a reference plane and here, give it a reference plane, say uh, level, sorry, and we'll attach it to that. And we'll call it new elevation. Okay, so now when you want to push it up, I uh, guess I should have made an instance parameter. Okay. Now we'll say three feet, and now it'll you can push it up. So, if you're going to use a hosted or non-hosted, uh, like well, in this case is a work plane base. So, if you want to be able to push it off of you know the floor that you're on, you're going to have to add that, that ability to uh, you know using a different uh, reference plane inside the RFA itself. Okay. All right. Uh, another thing I, I've had questions about is so let's say I want to place this on the wall. Change it back down to zero. Okay, and I, you know, they're saying, hey, I want to put it where it's embedded. So remember, you have the flip command here, so you can flip it into the wall if you want to push it on the outside of the surface, whatever reason. So don't forget that you have that ability to do that. All right. Um, in version, I think it's 22 or 21, they give us another uh, new command for snapping. So let's say I want to find the center of this room, place this object. If you right click, go to snap overrides, go between two points, you can pick that line, that line, and it'll find the midpoint for you. I think that's pretty helpful. I wish they had that in earlier versions of Revit. All right. Another thing I've seen uh, for tagging, 
So for example, let's say you know, you've got a situation where you only want to tag part of the room. If you basically select uh, the objects that you want, and when you go to annotate and basically uh, tag all, and just say, hey, only the selected, and I'm just here, just electrical, okay? Of course, I could say all, but here I just want to do just these two. So, uh, like I said, I've seen people sitting there doing one at a time because they just, you know, don't want to say all, okay? And this is how you get around that. You just select it first. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I had this question before. Well, if you build this RFA and you're making electrical, uh, a piece of equipment or whatever you're trying to do. They're saying, well, you made it as a generic. How you get around that is when you go to, when you're in the RFA itself, all right, what you do is you change the category. So here I can change that to, say, for example, I can come here and say, hey, this is electrical equipment, okay? And I can then change it to, hey, I want this to be a panel board or a transformer, okay? And now when I push it back in, all right, and let's go to visibility graphics. As you can see here, I'm going to turn off electrical equipment. You know, boom, it's gone. Okay, that's the tips for the day. All right, until next time.